Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Sal Mahajan, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look into Amazon Athena. So let's dive right into today's video. So firstly, we're of course going to talk about Amazon Athena. Amazon Athena is an interactive service for analyzing data in Amazon S3. So basically, you can think of Amazon Athena as a managed service provided by AWS, and it allows you to analyze data that is stored in your S3 bucket. It is a serverless service provided by Amazon, and it is easy to use, cost efficient, and scalable for running ad hoc query. So Amazon Athena is normally used by uh, data scientists, engineers, and developers. Moving forward, let's talk about a couple of key features of Amazon Athena, first being it has so it has a serverless architecture. It's a managed service by AWS. You really don't need to do much, to be honest. Second coming that it supports standard SQL support. So now you have data stored in your S3 bucket and you would like to run some analysis or run some queries on that data stored in your S3 bucket. So you can write SQL queries to um, query your data and perform your analysis. It supports multiple data formats like CSV, JSON, ORX, Parquet, and AVRO file formats. These are, again, just a few of the file formats that it supports. There are way uh, many more file formats that are supported. And also Amazon Athena can be integrated with various AWS services. A few that I've mentioned over here is S3. Of course, you know, Amazon Athena is built for S3. It can also be, you know, integrated with Glue, QuickSight, and much, much more. Now let's quickly have a, a take a look into how does it work. So first step is your data storage. So your data is stored in S3 that is in an accepted format. So we saw previously it could be JSON, Parquet, AVRO. So your data is stored into an S3 bucket. Second is you need to create a data catalog. So you will be using AWS Glue data catalog for creating a data catalog wherein you will be defining in all of your metadata and your schemas. Third, coming to is your SQL queries. Here, you will be writing SQL queries in the Athena console so that you get an output. Now, these queries will be related to your data and you know you will write them in the Athena console. And finally, once you write your queries and they are exit, uh, executed, you get your query results and your results are returned instantly um, you know by Amazon Athena and you know if you're satisfied with the results your query works as expected you can also export those results to an S3 bucket now of course if the query did not you know give a response or uh, as per your expectations you can repeat uh, the steps once again you can create a new query you can modify your query and you can keep going on till you get the result as expected and once it's expected you can export it to an S3 bucket Moving forward, we're quickly going to take uh, take uh, you know a look into the benefits of Amazon Athena. Um, the first being it is cost effective. Second being scalable. Again, why is it scalable? You know, again as I mentioned, Amazon Athena is a managed server uh, service provided by AWS. It's serverless and all of that. You really don't need to do anything. You can learn uh, run large queries or even very small queries, it is completely scalable. It provides very fast results. So within a couple of seconds or even a couple of milliseconds, you get your results. Again, it all depends on the size of data that you have in your S3 bucket, but uh, it is pretty fast. Fourth being easy to use, it's pretty easy, easy to use, easy to set up. And the final being flexible data analysis you know it's pretty flexible and you can have a good type of analysis and now let's move forward and let's talk about a couple of best practices for amazon athena first being optimize your data format so it is recommended to use um, you know storage formats like parquet or orc because they have columns and when you have columns it's pretty easy and straightforward to run sql queries Second being partition data. Again, uh, you may have huge amounts or sums of data stored in your S3 bucket, and when they are par uh, partitioned correctly, it will help you to run efficient and fast queries. Third being leverage uh, caching. You can you know store frequently queried results in S3, so you're able to retrieve them at an even faster pace. 
and finally being use glue data catalog using a glue data catalog basically helps you to centralize your schemas you have a centralized location for all of your schemas and it helps you to simplify your queries so this was a quick overview related to Amazon Athena. In the next video, we're going to be diving into a demo related to Amazon Athena so you guys can get some hands-on practice. So I hope you guys did like this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like, do subscribe, and do comment if there are any other topics out there that you guys would like me to cover. I hope you guys have a great day ahead. See ya. Take care. Bye-bye.